hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining us again today this video tutorial is all about exporting survey point from Tesla's Genesis controller in DSF format and importing directly into AutoCAD for plotting so these are my coordinates of points as you can see under the code I have the P1 P2 P3 P4 I have the detailed oil head and um, P5 all right and these are the coordinates respectively so what we want to achieve in the course of this video is to export these coordinates of points from the Tesla Genesis controller into AutoCAD format directly so to do just that you will come to export so note you are expected to be on the current project whereby you conducted your survey on so when you click on export you come to other exports then you click on file format so these are the different formats you can export the coordinates of points from the Tesla's Genesis controller so the SHP is the shapefile format why other format like the KML is the Google Earth format and the rest however in the course of this video we are interested in the DXF AutoCAD format then you click on that so after you check that you leave the height value box unchecked then you can rename your file name by clicking on it then you rename so I'm just going to call this export YouTube Right, so the units there are different formats, so I will be using the meter M. All right, as my unit. So the storage part is where the export file is going to be going on your controller. You should note the storage part, then you click on export. So you can see on it export success, then you click on OK. So the next thing is to connect my USB cord and um, download to my pc for plotting then guys to download it from your controller you navigate to tesla survey all right after you've connected your usb to your pc then you click on tesla survey then you scroll down to projects you click on that then you scroll down to the project whereby you exported your coordinate of points and in the course of this video this is d11 bracket 2 so when you are on that project you click on exports so as you can see these are the different export formats but what we exported earlier is export youtube the file name so you click on that you copy and uh, you paste on any folder of your choice on your system so i'm just going to paste it on youtube here So you open the folder, then you navigate to the particular exported file you pasted. So I'm just going to see it here. As you can see, export YouTube. So you double click to enter and open it directly on AutoCAD. So if you can't find the points on your work environment on AutoCAD, you click on Zoom Extent. So these are my points here. All right this is the base point so in the course of the video i will not be needing the base point so i'm not going to delete that so what i need is the other points of interest so i don't need the two base points so i just need my other points so these are the points respectively so uh the next thing to do is to make sure the points have a node so to do just that you will come to utilities then you scroll to point style you click on that then you can set it on different node of interest based on your interest so i'm just going to use two then you click on absolute then okay so as you can see this is the node this is the node for this particular point Okay, so these are the tests. So I don't necessarily need all these tests. So I'll just edit this 
and delete so what i need is just the node and one of the tests so i need this p2 outside of the node so then i'm going to increase the test size of this test respectively so i'm going to click on the test of this then i'm going to right click then click select similar so if i do that it's going to select other similar tests as you can see all right so i want to increase this test size by right clicking then going to quick properties and i'm going to make this 1.2 then click on enter so as you can see guys it is bigger than before so to do to increase it you click on any of the test of interest you right click come to quick properties then you can increase it to another test size so i'm just going to make this 2.4 enter okay so that is just how to quickly edit the test so all other tests that is not of interest you can click on it right click select similar so it's going to select other similar tests i'm going to delete those ones all right they are not of interest to me so i'm just going to increase the test okay so this is how to export coordinate of points from tesos genesis to autocad directly without running scripts without too much of stress and um, complications it is easy fast and more productive to follow this method okay when you are done editing the text you are expected to join the notes respectively by clicking on the polyline and you click on the node make sure your old snap is activated to accurately pick the center of the node then you join the line respectively so this is just how to join the line if it's a perimeter or whatsoever all right so you have to join your line according to the way you observe on site so when you are done with that you are now expected to set your units so by clicking on un enter on your command line so check under the video description to see on how to accurately set up units so you are going to find that video helpful to set up units and that is just all in the course of this video please do where to hit on the subscribe icon as well as hit on the notification bell to keep getting information and updates from this channel thank you we hope to see you again